Who? <coughs> who else would come this, off the top of your head, Christopher? Who would come? I know I had to get out of the chair. Jerry, two blocks. I can answer your question. You want to go ahead and answer it or ask me a chance, but I know where you're going. What am I going to You're going to ask me who else would possibly have any kind of money to come to me. No, you got to clear that. What was that? Well, like I told the officer earlier, even though I don't think this person would go that far, there's a good name that but Matt, he broke in my house like two, two and a half months ago. I didn't know it was him at the time. It took me a while to figure it out. But somebody told me he was running around bragging about it. Okay. So he spoke to my friend. Well, he's in my house at the time. This day he's at my house. He's in my house, sitting in that bird and leather chair. Okay. And I asked him about it. Did you break in my house? Did you try to get in my house? Did you break in my house? And then started bumping and stumbling and stuttering, and I just knew I beat the hell out of that dude. I ain't going to lie. And then I beat the hell out of him. And um, I pushed him down my back porch. I pushed him down the back stairs. But evidently, I mean, okay. He walked off and died. I don't even think he went to the hospital. But he been running around. Saying so people have been indirectly hearing from other people that he's been talking about he's gonna get it. Sooner or later he's gonna get it when he's inside the truth. Now this little fight would have happened before the baby was even born, right? Yeah, way before that. So I mean, do I think that dude broke him came him out the back door and got my kids? No, I don't. What's he doing? Um a snake. I mean he he's got his eyes are kind of close together, he's got short, like dark hair. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure he's clean shaved. If not, he may have a, a little bit of a goatee. Um, he's probably six foot, maybe six one. He probably don't weigh no more than 180. Mm -hmm. I mean, not much bigger than me. Where's he look? I don't know. He was living in Medical, but he was um, staying there some, some lady in their home. Already friends with. Mm -hmm. And supposedly Matt slapped her so she kicked him out. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, I don't really know too much details on that, but um, he's not there now. I was just over there every day and he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where he's at. I think he's one of those dudes that just stays where he can when he can. What were you doing with a 15 day old baby? Because mm -hmm. he even no child was born. I mean, it, ain't, it wasn't no secret that the baby was coming. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know. He's not been running around with your, with Courtney, have you? No. Definitely not. He's never cheated on me. I know that for a fact. Okay. You know, I gotta ask you questions. I'm not a bad man. So we probably rule him out. I would. I would. I mean, if, 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 that, if the question was asked, I don't know if we would have any kind of ill will towards him to do stuff like this. I don't think he would do something like this. He's the only one that could possibly feel any kind of hatred towards me as far as like something that's wrong. Who you want to do that? I mean, I beat the hell out of him. I've seen pictures of the dude after it happened. He was messed up. Okay. I mean. But the likelihood of him coming back to get another ass would be pretty slim. I don't know. He's never heard around talking about he's going to get him. I mean, I heard he's going to get a baseball bat. I he probably wouldn't do it this way. He probably wouldn't take your 15 day old child because that's just more hassle for him. All I know is that the thief. Yeah. What's been said to me all, all the time, you know, since it happened, was that he ain't doing nothing going around and breaking the thief's shit and still generators and PlayStation, Xbox, whatever he get his hands on, he's still. I mean, I ain't never had enough kind of thought that he would ever try to kidnap my kid. Mm -hmm. But I can't say if he did or didn't. Mm -hmm. But we'll check it. We'll check it. Um, let me ask you this, Christian. What was Kalia, what did she have on when you saw her last? 
she had a purple girl called the one. The purple was short sleeves, one of the wrapped between the legs and buttoned up. She had a diaper, and she had one that was purple, and it said something like, my daddy works out or something like that. I think it had a picture of some kind of animal or something like that. With a bench, a bench press, you know what I mean? And um, she was wrapped up in a blue blanket. I can't put black letters on the night shirt. But it was like a, like a baby blue blanket. Like real soft, kind of big. Or just a baby blanket. Sure, it was about this big. And that's it. If you had missed, how much would you say they were smoking the doctor this other day, right? Five point four. Five point four ounces. She was born five four ounces. She was just uh, she was born five six. She was down like four nine. She got back up five one before we left the hospital. I had the daughter over there, she was five four. Yeah. I mean my my first daughter here. She went from six six nine, no, six, 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 nine, six, three, back up to like what color eyes does Cleo have? Dark blue. I mean, real, real dark eyes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much about like all that. She got hair. Yeah, she got. Her hair's gonna probably end up like mine. I mean, it's dark hair. It's thick or baby hair. And it's a little bit more. It's in between thick and baby hair. It's thick and black. You know what I mean? It's, it's there. I mean, you can. You can play with it, it's probably about that long. Okay. Something like that. Does she have any marks or birthmarks or anything on her body at all? No, no, no. I've never noticed a birthmark. The only thing I always noticed was the black thing here in Billy Button. That is gone now. Yeah. I mean, when she went down there to the in laws, she still had the black thing in her belly button when she came back to the United States. Yeah, it's just basically a big skin. The way she rides up for something to fall apart. Have you changed your diet? Yes, sir. Yeah, she, she, um, I was feeding her last night and I, I felt, you know, I felt her little bugs right here and I felt her poop. So I laid her down on the bed and I changed her diaper and her poop was green, like a dark, like a dark green kind of. I mean. Was she not breastfed at all? She was taking a lot She was taking a lot of breastfed. I think it's, um, Gerber. I think it might be good start coming up in Canada. I don't have like two or three of them left. That's what she did. You saw her last around 9.30 this morning? Yes, sir. That's what none of my girls have been on the phone with text message 9.30. I went in there. She was still there. She was there. Everything. Everything was good. She's 15 days old, right? She moved her arms and legs? Yes, sir. Yeah. She turned on her side? Yeah. So, well, she turned on the right side. I ain't she turned on the right side. Matter of fact, yesterday, I laid her in the uh, deep light in. Okay. And um, she had a little brain stuff, stuff in there. She I looked over there at her and my, my baby mom was looking at her and she was like, look at that. She told me just like her, because Rachel was doing stuff like that early, but I mean, I don't think that early, you know, I wasn't there, but she was on her right side laying there and she rolled back over on her back. So I mean, she was moving, you know. When we put her down to sleep, you ever put her on her stomach? That's that. Well, I never put her on her stomach. I didn't think you were supposed to do that. I thought that was like, with the tummy down thing, that's like when you're trying to teach you to crawl, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, I wrap her up there in her little blanket, and I always make sure her arms are covered up. She don't like that. Mm -hmm. So every now and then, I let her arms stay with the word that she won't be healed. You know what I mean? What she goes through. And sometimes she'll sleep with her arms up on her face. Or, I mean, most of the time, I wrap them up, you know what I mean? And she's moving her arms and her legs, huh? This uh, little thing where she sleeps, this relaxing thing. 
lack of a better term, I'm going to call it last minute, okay? Um, Coach is usually who will ever stack up right on the side. Right here, this turn, you see, you stack up all the time. And that thing usually had everything that goes in it. I think that was just if the lane had it or something like that. Well, would they be able to take the pad in time and get it to the dog and get a sink off of it? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, usually there's a tote with my foot. Mostly my clothes. Right. There's a tote, and then there's a tote stacked on top of that tote. Again, with more of my clothes. And that's the toe on the top of the boot over to the bed. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at right there. Yeah. And then your other daughter sleeps in there. And that baby bed right mm -hmm. there. You look like right over here, right? Yes, sir. And that sheet don't hang down like that. Normally it's, you know, everything going on. And it's hard to look for it, whatever it fell down. But it's usually tacked up on the wall and it don't cover the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. But my, my daughter, my two-year-old, wants to snatch it down. Was the air conditioner running last night? Yes, sir. So you keep it nice and cool. Pretty much. I mean, sometimes I run the fan and not let the air. Because mm -hmm. I hardly get cold. And you all hardly ever sleep in there, with you? I mean, we sleep in there. Probably, I'm saying the last month, we probably slept in there four days. We usually just go in the living rooms and we like to watch TV. Mm -hmm. And we're usually up because we got to feed the baby. You know what I mean? So we're. So now we're going to sleep in there for us. When you fed her this morning, you said she drank by it. Yes, sir. Is that a typical that time of day? Or? I mean, she's been, she been doing pretty good. I mean, she's been taking anywhere from two ounces to, I mean, anywhere from maybe an ounce to a little over two ounces. So you keep like track of how much she's taking? I mean, I try to. Yeah. I mean, she eats and do she don't want it no more. When she don't want it no more, she will not open her mouth and take that in one her mouth. Mm -hmm. And when I know she don't want it, then I burp her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I put her, I put her hands up, I put her head right here, make sure she's facing away from my shoulder and not in my shoulder, and push the stuff okay, and I pat on her back, about like this right here, and I hold her bullet so she don't slide. I mean, I do what I feel like, you know, what I was told in the hospital how to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I did. Did she work this morning? Yes, sir. Good. 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 I actually told my mom was probably one of the, one of the better. Because at first she didn't, she couldn't really burp her good. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't really want to burp her good, so I always the one that made her burp. So people don't want her to tell Well, I mean, now she's good, but mm -hmm. usually, usually I would get her. I guess maybe because I, I got the patience to do it longer. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love to have her in my arms. I love to love her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just, I like having my kids. You know? It makes me, it makes me feel like I've done something with my life. Like I, like I got a reason for being here. I was in no kind of, I ain't contributing to society, all I know was running down. And ever since Clarissa was born, I just feel different about my life. I feel like I've actually done something. I've provided the world with something beautiful. That's how I feel. And I try to do the best I can. You know what I mean? Get up, I go to work. But it hasn't been like that now. I go to work on my day. I mean, he'll tell you I work, you know what I mean? Every now and then I miss a day or two. I mean, you know, sometimes I'm just so tired. I don't wake up when I'm going to work. You know what I mean? So, but for the most part, I'm a working man now. You know what I mean? And you say you didn't work last week? No, I didn't work last week. No, at No, sir. Uh -huh. I mean, mainly it was because I think Monday, last week he went to Tennessee, he didn't come back till Monday. So that's why he didn't work Monday. And then Tuesday when everything happened with the kids, so, okay. and so I just, I don't know, I just, I just got, I got a little bit of grit, but, I mean, I'm just all day, I'm like, look, man, I'm just, I don't feel good, man, I don't feel like going to work right now. And that was the wrong, I mean, that was not a good move, but, I was, I, I was down now, I mean, you folks, man, you just went, you just told me to get it. But I mean, I was supposed to go back to work. I was supposed to go back to work one day. 
Then we first go over to you. You came to your senses today and realized you needed to go look for your child. Tell me exactly again where you went. To the right I'm on the right of my yard. I walk up, up that road where it goes, where it goes up. I look down that street and I was looking at people's yards. Not going in or nothing, but just looking at looking on the ground. And then as soon as you come, like, there's like a shed right there on the left. And then there's lady houses right here. I went in through the wood. I went down. And there's there's one place you can go to the right. And I think it might go to somebody's house. I never go that way. I always, I always take the first clear. It's not really clear, though. It's like kind of, kind of grew up a little bit. You know what I mean? It goes down. And then it kind of goes up a little bit. And it goes straight to Henderson Hill Road. That's the route I took. And I came out and took her way out of Henderson Hill and went down. And went all the way to that girl's stairs house. And then Courtney texted me that I was not there for maybe 30 seconds. And Courtney said, um, this is a Facebook message thing or whatever it is. And um, said that the police are here and they want to know where you're at. So I was like, I'm coming, you know what I mean? And I, I, I turned around and went back. I went on the other side of the road first. Then I realized I'm walking down the wrong side of the road. You're not supposed to walk along with the traffic. You're supposed to walk in it. So I went back on the other side of the road and I walked. And um, I was going to go back in the woods where I came out at to get that faster route. I was like, no, I, want to, I want to go up that way too. That was my plan to go up that way too and look to see any, anything, you know, anything. Was there a logging road or a dirt road or anything like that back there where you were walking? Anything, any kind of old road or path or? I don't know, the path I take is like, but kind of, it's like rock, but it's like mainly like tall grass kind of, just, you know, I don't, I don't know about a logging road, I don't really know exactly what that would, what that would look like. I mean, we used to go dirt road or something. I ain't never noticed the road. Maybe there is one. I hadn't really been all through there, you know what I mean? I had not I, I, I had no reason to do it. I just go to Henderson Hill and be either I either that's the shortcut to Henderson or it's better to stay off thirty six, so I might go through there and go to Henderson. That's when we didn't have the car when I was doing that, so that was a while back, but I'll take a break and walk down there to that girl's house, but I hadn't done that in a while either. I mean, in, in the last 15 days, have you ever taken Kalia on one of that walk with me? Have you ever been out in the woods? Yeah. Nothing like that? I mean, maybe it's terrible to do it, but I didn't know. Okay. Well, I know they used to be born in the woods, so I don't know, right? Sure. Um, was anybody else with you? Did anybody follow you or anything? No, I'm not aware of it. Okay. And you said, Courtney texted you. Facebook and Messenger. Can I do that? Can I said, if they're there, I'm on my way back. She said, come back there here, baby. I'm coming. I said, I'm coming. I meant to say, if so, I'm on the way, OTW. 
I said, if they there, I'm on the way back. She said, come back there here. I said, I'm coming. She said, hurry up, daddy, come on. That's when I was going up and cut through the church. And she called, and we didn't talk. And then I missed the call. I missed the PDF chat, missed the call. And that was when I opened the back of the car when I was up coming here. I wasn't doing it for this. I didn't even read that. That's the first I seen that. Okay. Yeah. She called you dead? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Chris, we got to find a shop. Um, yeah. The only thing I don't care about right now. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, the dog sniffed the pad that the baby sleeps on. That's what they were using to get the sink. So they said, I don't know a whole lot about dog tracking. I'm going to do it. Okay. We got some good dogs. Okay, we got some good dog animals. And it sounds like the dog took the scent off the pad and kind of followed the, the route that she would say you would walk. That's why I'm asking anybody else following you that had ever taken the baby out there and said no, nothing like that. Okay. And kind of, I'm pretty sure I was the last one that had the baby. No, the last one that had her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Except for whoever took her. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, the dog went to a specific place and stopped. And kind of circled a, a kind of big area. Now I ain't been out there, so I'm not sure. We got folks out there now. And I'm just curious as to why that would happen. We got to find this child. We got a 15 day old child that we know can't walk, can't crawl, can't run, can't fly, nothing like that. Right? And she's outside. Right? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's no lack of paper that she's not outside. Mm -hmm. um, if she is outside, she's laying there. Right? What else happens in the woods? What do we got? We got bugs, critters, animals, farms, dragons, snakes, spiders, all that kind of stuff. You don't want them to get it. You know, bug bites we can deal with it, right? But we don't, we don't want anything to harm to come with stuff. Hard part when we talk about reality. Right? Yes, sir. I'm just I'm gonna ask you, Christopher, and I want you to be honest with you. Anything happened to call you overnight? I mean, no. Nah. Nothing happened to me like that. Or well, good. No. Nah. I mean nothing just like the same old stuff. Anything out of the ordinary, what happened? The only thing, the only thing I can think of is the first time she pooped, I changed her. As soon as we got her box back on, she pooped again. So, I mean, she but she hadn't been doing that. I mean, it's a different color and a different texture and everything. Because I took the diaper when I, I laid her down. I took the diaper and showed her my baby's mama. I was like, that shit was green while ago. Mm -hmm. Now it's like. Brown, but it looks like it might have, it kind of looked like there was oatmeal over there. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but there you know, was two different kinds of poops within like a five minute period. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's never happened before any time I've ever changed her. And we've never mentioned anything like that. But, but not that happened. You see those crates of bins and boxes that's got your clothing in. Sitting right up there, 
next to the last night with a bag of sleep. The scenario I'm sure I have right now, Christopher, is that possibly one of those fell the neck. That's her. You could have not had She wasn't suffocating or anything like that. There was no doubt anything happened that would cause me to take my kid anywhere out of that house. Nothing happened to her. Nothing bad. I'm a pretty smart guy because I know the questions are asking what they're leaving. They what am I leaving? Did something bad happen to her where I felt like I needed to do something with it so nobody would know? Mm-hmm. Or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something along those lines, but no, it's not. that's not what's going on, I swear. Nothing happened. Swear to God. I swear to God, I put down my two year old. Nothing bad happened to that little girl. Okay. Just, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. This is the first time I can remember that a 15-day-old child has been taken from their home. And I can't, I mean, can't that. point to anyone. Because I can tell you, I'm a grandparent, okay? If I was to take from one of my grandchildren, I wouldn't let the police get all up and all bother like this. I say, you know what? I took that child because they ain't nothing trash. So as far as that's going, I don't believe that happened. I don't think I believe it. I mean, I pretty much know. I mean, them people don't like me and they hate me and I really got that good to say about them. But I know they would never hurt my kids. For the simple fact that when my daughter was born, they lived with them. Mm-hmm. The first 18 months of their her horrific life, she lived with them. And nothing ever bad happened to her. So, I mean, I never accused them of anything. I never thought that. Okay. Even though the first thing they did was accuse me, for sure. Which, every It's day, obvious they don't care for you. Yeah, I don't That's care right. for them either. That's right. It's because they don't care for me, and I've tried to be respectful. Call him his third, no sir, I don't get disrespectful to people at all. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. A lot of people are like that about their daughters and granddaughters. The whole thing about these totes, these bins, that just, that's one of the little red flags that keep popping up. With why somebody would even, because they didn't have to touch them if somebody came in there. They didn't have to move them bins to get the baby, right? Uh-huh. Somebody had to move the bins to get the baby. Something did happen to her, and you took her out and, and buried her and put her somewhere. At least we know where she's at. We, we have that. We have that close, huh? We know. That, we know that baby didn't walk out and we wouldn't by herself. She didn't crawl out. She didn't walk out. Tell me about Courtney. Like with, 
not you don't have any involvement, but. Tell me about Courtney's interaction with police. 